The line actually begins construction. Get ready for a futuristic vision of a Saudi Arabian city as the line begins construction. After much debate and skepticism, drone footage has confirmed that work has started on this mega project. With its promises of sustainability and innovation, the world is watching to see if the line will become a success story or a costly blunder. Are we witnessing the birth of a groundbreaking project or a trillion dollar mistake? Only time will tell. For now, let's dive into the video to know how the construction work is going. Here we begin. About the line. The line project in Saudi Arabia is a revolutionary undertaking that prioritizes the well-being of its inhabitants and preserves nature. The city will run on 100% renewable energy and eliminate carbon-intensive infrastructure like roads and cars. Instead, residents will have access to all amenities within a 5-minute walk and a high-speed rail system for longer journeys. With a reduced infrastructure footprint, the city will be more efficient and residents will enjoy clean air, pristine views and a perfect climate all year round. The line's unique design provides immediate and uninterrupted access to nature within a two-minute walk through diverse open spaces suspended on multiple levels. The integration of nature and open spaces throughout the city will purify air quality and create a comfortable living environment. In addition, the city's cognitive technology will predict and react to the inhabitants' needs, creating a richer human experience and new business opportunities. While the project's ambitious goal to accommodate 9 million people and preserve 95% of the land for nature has raised concerns about its feasibility, Neom's leadership remains optimistic about the project's progress. With a team of the brightest minds in architecture, engineering and construction, Neom is leading the way in delivering new and imaginative solutions to tackle the livability and environmental crisis facing our world cities. As a result, the line is not just a city of the future, but a community inventing it. Finally, the construction began. Drone footage of the construction site for the line project was revealed by OT Sky on October 19, 2022. The video displays dozens of excavators digging trenches along the desert, which will form the foundation of the city. From the footage, it can be inferred that the excavation work has already progressed far inland, potentially reaching close to the mountains visible in the background. The official map on Neom's website indicates that the line starts at a nearby bay and cuts through these mountains. Given the terrain and the presence of the sea in the background, the footage was likely captured somewhere in the vicinity, implying that the excavations could already extend 10 to 20 kilometers. Evidence of other infrastructure being developed around the line project also exists. For example, on Google Maps, multiple developments can be seen, such as a site with offices and camps close to the mountains, a Neom community with amenities such as a football field and swimming pools, and a Neom Experience Center. Although these images are not up to date, significant progress has probably been made in constructing more infrastructure. So now that the construction has really started, how could this turn out? There is no parallel to this project anywhere in the world, leaving us with mere speculations about its future. However, there are three potential outcomes that we can consider. Firstly, construction on the line could come to a halt within a few months or years without any occupancy. This scenario is reminiscent of the Jeddah Tower or the Dubai Creek Tower, where construction status remains uncertain. In both cases, impressive renderings were showcased and ambitious promises were made, only to see construction come to a grinding halt with no progress made since. However, this outcome appears less likely for the line, as it has the backing of an entire country and has captured global attention. The project's completion could present a fantastic opportunity to attract more tourists and investors to Saudi Arabia. The second possible scenario is that Saudi Arabia commits significant resources to its current plans and ultimately fulfills its ambitious promises over the next few decades. Implementing some of the proposed features may be feasible, such as relying solely on renewable energy, eliminating cars and embracing vertical living. However, given the project's colossal scale, it appears to be an unachievable task. As previously said, 
The line aims to reach a height similar to that of the One World Trade Center, which took approximately eight years to complete. While this timeline is reasonable, Saudi Arabia aims to construct a structure of a similar height spanning 170 kilometers. This is comparable to constructing a continuous strip of 2,000 One World Trade Centers. And since the project includes two of these lines, it is equivalent to constructing 4,000 of them. Considering each tower takes eight years to build, the total construction time would be 32,000 years. Naturally, Saudi Arabia could expedite the process by working on multiple parts simultaneously, but this simply underscores the enormity of the project. The task could take centuries to complete. For comparison, the Three Gorges Dam in China, which stands at the height of just 180 meters and has a length of 2.3 kilometers, took 17 years to construct with 40,000 workers. This pales in comparison to the scope of the line. Nonetheless, there is a third possible scenario. Since construction has already commenced, a compromise could be reached. As we questioned at the outset, could this project be the most remarkable mega project in history or an expensive blunder? Perhaps there is another option. As many of you have suggested in our previous video comments, Saudi Arabia could build the line on a smaller scale than initially envisioned. The line's modular construction allows for it to be built segment by segment, each a five-minute walk in length. This means that the entire project could be constructed incrementally with extensions made only as required by demand. The project's feasibility would be significantly enhanced if its height were adjusted to a more realistic scale. The vertical living concept and all other features could still be incorporated with a structure that is half the size. Even if the line is built on a smaller scale, it could still be the world's first modern car-free city, providing a completely new way of life. Car-free initiatives in cities worldwide have been focused on reducing car usage rather than eliminating cars entirely, as most major cities revolve around cars. However, starting from scratch with the line makes implementing the concept easier. The line aims to become the first larger city in the 21st century with zero car journeys. The plan is for all basic amenities to be within walking distance and an underground railway system is proposed for longer journeys. The first residents are expected to move in by 2030, living on a smaller scale in a proposed high-tech society. Experts have different views on the feasibility of this ambitious project, particularly given the tight timeline. And Tony Vives, the chief urban planning officer at NEOM, acknowledges that it is a complex and highly ambitious undertaking, but they are making strong progress. He said, I want to be clear about this. NEOM is a complex, bold and highly ambitious undertaking and is most certainly not easy to deliver. But we are making strong progress and seeing the vision come to life is exciting. However, other experts not involved in the project, such as Marshall Brown, professor of architecture at Princeton University, expresses concerns about the physical and environmental challenges that need to be addressed to achieve the minimal and singular character proposed in the renderings. Marshall said, there would be so many physical and environmental phenomena that would have to be dealt with to achieve the incredibly minimal and singular character that the renderings propose. While the project's success remains to be seen, it is an exciting and innovative concept that challenges traditional urban planning and car-centric cities. If successful, it could serve as a model for sustainable and eco-friendly urban development in the future. What do you think of this enormous project? Comment below and subscribe for more such videos.